has an agreement called the ASEAN Agreement on Disaster Management and Relief, uh, ADMER. Uh, we have agreed on this agreement uh, as a result of the tsunami at the end of 2006. And this agreement is now is being implemented. We have sent a team of seven experts from Malaysia, from Singapore, from Brunei, uh, from Indonesia and from Thailand, ourselves, uh, as a team. They have done a survey, they have done a report, and uh, this report will be uh, presented to uh, all ASEAN governments and dialogue partners. But it will very much depend on the Thai government, uh, how much the Thai government would like to receive assistance and support uh, in this very, very devastating uh, natural disaster that we have. Is this underway? It is, it, I think they have finished the, the initial report. Uh, they have not done the part of Bangkok, which is now under crisis, but they have done the part on uh, uh, Ayutthaya, on uh, Rangsit, and the northern parts uh, earlier in the, in, the, in the crisis. What sort of assistance were talking about? They were talking about, you know, the initial uh, need. At that time, they were talking about 500 boats immediately. Uh, because they were anticipating that uh, the floods are going to get much worse and that many communities would need, uh, you know, transport. And uh, indeed, I think they are right because this, this very morning I have gone to visit my own residence in Soi Tha It near Bang Bo Tong. I couldn't get through. I had to ride a boat. I had to uh, rely on the military transport, the trucks, uh, because the water is uh, this deep up to your neck. Uh, so the initial report was correct that they would, the Thai people or at least people around Bangkok, in Bangkok, will certainly need... I think water uh, is also one of the big well, right now it's everything. Right now it's food. Right now it's dry food, uh, certainly clean water. And I'm sure uh, electricity in some part of the country will be affected. And uh, I hope that uh, the flood will not, you know, last too long. Otherwise, there will be a lot of tension. So basically, a lot the of help is ready to, to... A lot of people, a lot of countries have already extended help. Uh, Indonesia, just, Laos, even Cambodia, and yes, it, it up to the Thai government how much. But I think uh, there is some reluctance. Uh, partly because I think we have our own problems of coordination. I mean, if uh, there are foreigners coming in, uh, how are we going to coordinate with them? Because among ourselves, we seem to have some problems. Uh, various agencies, various levels of government. So uh, it's unfortunate, but I, I do hope that we will get our acts together soon. Certainly, there is, certainly we hope that a sense of urgency among us that natural disasters uh, are going to visit us more often. We have to be prepared. We have to uh, build our capacity to deal with this issue and uh, to, we have to assume that, uh, adopt a new way. Uh, rather than wait for disasters to strike, we better be prepared to reduce the risks of disasters because surely they're going to come. So if we build better, stronger, and more uh, integrated system to protect ourselves, we can reduce the loss and the damage. Much like in Japan, you know, the tsunami that hit Japan on the 11th of March, March early this year, the scale of it is enormous. If that were to be somewhere else, we would have lost many, many more lives. But in Japan, they lost, I think, about 12,000 15,000. It's, it's, it's a miracle. But that's only because they are well prepared as a society, as a community, as a people. Discipline. Uh, they're well, well trained and well rehearsed to face this kind of challenges. And I think all ASEAN countries, certainly Thailand, the Thai people will have to adopt that kind of uh, attitude. And that is be prepared. R disaster risk reduction is better than 
taking the measures to relief after the damage has already been done and we will need investment, we will need a lot of resources, a lot of planning and a lot of coordination. That is not going to be easy.